Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are back at it. I am back in the studio. It feels super, super weird to be sitting down and filming because I have not been in this space in two weeks. That never happens for me. I am never away from filming for that long because you guys know how much I upload. I'm like constantly like in the makeup. So I took a nice long leisurely break. I went to Thailand with my family. I'm gonna be talking about that trip a little bit more um, very soon because I did buy a bunch of really strange beauty products and I wanna do a video with um, all of them, obviously. But today we're just kinda of getting back into the routine, testing out a really cool looking product. So when we got back from Thailand, I immediately was kinda of like digging into the PR and I know it sounds kinda of crazy because yesterday's video was a huge PR unboxing. If you haven't seen that, I will link it below. I filmed that before we left. But when I came home, I walked in and it was just like, box after box after box after box after box. And I kind of was like, oh my God, my brain is melting, you know? And like, I have to unpack. And like, there was just like, there was a lot. But my sister who lives in Seattle, who came back and stayed a night in LA with her family, she's like, no, let's sit down and let's like do a little bit of an unbox and like, I'll help you. And so we were digging through and we had so much fun. We were sitting by the fireplace. It was really cozy and cool. And the product that jumped out the most to me, I was like very, very just like sucked into this picture. So I was like, hmm, okay, I need to make a video ASAP. First off, this is super affordable. It's $13.99. It is a powder compact foundation. This is what came with their PR and it says that it's finely milled. It is silky in texture. It's gonna minimize the appearance of pores. It's also got an innovative technology with water lock system. I don't know what that is. It's medium to full coverage. I have to apologize. My brain is not in my body at the moment. I am having the most severe jet lag ever. So if I seem a little bit like, whoa, Tati is so crazy in this video. She's not making a lot of sense. Just, I want you to know that I know. So let's get to applying this foundation. I am gonna wear it all day long. It is called the Aqua Assurance. The name kind of says it all. I want to add that it has cactus flower extract. It has chamomile, one of my favorite teas. It has Calora. You know what's funny? It doesn't Calora, like it's a health food. Like you can put, you know, a dropper of it in water. But I always think of like Calora, like the plague, like the illness, like they sound so similar. And we're back to having a moment where my brain kind of is not in my body. This is a cruelty-free brand. I really enjoy J-Cat. They have eight shades, which is not enough, but I do want to say the lightest to darkest is a pretty drastic difference. It's not like there's, you know, a ton in like the, the top five ivory and then here and here. It's just kind of this. It does say to prep your skin with a hydrating primer, of course. They encourage you to use the J-Cat Dewy Primer. I didn't have that, so I used the new one from Tarte. This is the Quench Hydrating Primer. I've already put this on my face. I did not do any pore filling because I really want to see what this product is capable as far as filling my pores <laughs> with powder. It's also magical water. I am going to be somewhere in this shade range right here, I'm thinking. It's always hard just by, you know, the swatch on the box, but there is soft tan, golden beige, and natural. The rest of them, I am going to donate them because that's the name of the game right now. I do not like to swatch everything. I like to donate as much as I can, but we are going to use these. Let's figure out what shade I am. Ooh, that's kind of light, right? I got a little bit of color. I mean, I was rocking SPF 50 and like terrified that I was going to break out so hardcore. So the SPF that I took with me was the one that Drew Barrymore actually recommended that I had on hand. I forget the name of it off the top of my head, but I will list it in the description box below. And she is right. If you get breakouts from SPF, this is it. Like it is so good. I think that's gonna be too dark. I think this might be it. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of dark, actually. Mmm, wow. Okay, so that one was soft tan. This one right here is natural. I think that's better. Well, it's kind of light, right? Dang it. I want to embrace the tan and make it almost a little bit more tan. Ah. Okay, medium beige is a little bit darker. Okay, also like random side note, you guys, tomorrow, actually today, when you're watching this, I will be on a plane again because I'm going to New York. I got a huge honor from Nylon Magazine as an innovator in beauty and it's just like the coolest thing. Like I kind of feel like 
I am dreaming right now. So that'll be really cool. I will definitely be snapping and capturing a lot on Instagram stories. So make sure that you are following me. I'll try to like get a bunch of like behind the scenes. Jessica Alba is gonna be the keynote at the event and I'm super excited. We're gonna go in with medium beige. You guys know I like some coverage with my foundation and with a powder foundation, I don't want it to be powdery and weird. And I am curious if this is going to like fill in my pores like it says it will. That looks like shit. What? Okay, this is not the right shade. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, you know what the tricky thing though with powder foundation? I should probably do my concealer first. Can I be more chatty Kathy making no sense? Probably. Okay, we're now gonna go in with natural. Just one step up, one shade lighter. And I kind of have something on my mind, like while my mind is kind of all over the place, I know this is taking me 10,000 years to get into this video and get into the actual product, but it's just on my heart to say this. A lot of you guys are watching the documentary, the five part series with Shane and Jeffrey. And I just have to say anybody who has ever questioned my friendship with Jeffrey or him being on my channel, because that did cause a lot of drama from you guys. A lot of you guys did not like it. And part of me understood and part of me was really hurt by it. But I wanna encourage you guys that may not um, follow trending or follow everything that's happening to go and watch because I think it will give you a deeper understanding of someone that I feel is really misunderstood, who's also really bright, talented, and I don't wanna put myself in the line of fire. Like this is not for debate for you guys to like come at me and you know, start that whole thing up again. But I just wanna encourage you to go and take a watch because I think beyond the Jeffrey situation, there are so many people that we encounter in our life that are one way for one reason or another. And you might not be looking past the surface and there are layers to be peeled back and to bring you better understanding. And the other thing that kind of always made me a little bit crazy with that whole thing is like, okay, as humans, we all mess up. None of us are perfect, but, and I see this on social media so often. So this is not just a Jeffrey thing. This is just an in general thing. I feel strongly that if people make mistakes and they change and they move forward, the best thing we can do is encourage that, support that, applaud that and hope for the best. Because so often I see online someone apologize and everybody will come right swooping in and say, it's not good enough. So I think that teaches a lot of people, well, it. I'm not gonna apologize at all because everybody's just gonna come down on me anyway. And that's just not a good behavior to like keep in this motion. Do you know what I'm saying? So I would encourage you guys, whether it's the Jeffrey situation, another person in social, try to understand, like try to peel it back a little bit more. Anyway, I've been fascinated by the series like deeply and I love it. And I think Shane is incredible. Like I am such a fan. I have been for a very, very long time, but now more than ever. So I just, I don't know, it's like on the top of my head Head, and I still haven't put on foundation, so crap, let's get to it. Please God, be the right color. Okay, first off, this is covering. Like, it really, really is. This is a little bit light for me. I'm kind of in between shades here. I'm gonna have to bronze my skin up, and that's fine. How many of you guys wear powder foundation? I would be curious to know. Leave that in the comments below. I do wanna mist my sponge with a setting spray. They show a picture of that on the card and it says that you can get more coverage by doing it wet. Really, Tati? Why do I feel like my mouth area looks super weird. I think I prefer applying it dry. I just feel like this did not blend as well as I wanted it to. I also wanted to try using just a velour puff. So I'm going to take a brand new fresh clean one and see if I can get a little bit of a better blend in the areas that just don't want to blend. Holy smokes. <laughs> Maybe that was a bad idea. Um, wow. A velour puff will just get you. Holy crap. What? 
It looks very powdery right now, but I can feel that the second I drench myself in some setting spray, some hydrating setting spray, I think this will look really nice. I feel like a velour puff is actually the way to get that maximum coverage and a better blend. The sponge in here is not doing it for me. I did not like applying this wet because it kind of dragged and pushed and pulled the foundation here, there, everywhere. But I have to say the texture of this, you guys, I really wish you could reach through the screen and just like feel my skin because it is so soft. Like this is the softest powder that is also very full coverage. So I actually, right now I'm quite into it. I'm gonna finish up my face and then I will be back and we will set the skin and see exactly where we land. You guys, this is kind of blowing my mind right now because it's a powder, but it is not accentuating anything dry on my face. It is not accentuating lines. It looks really beautiful. I haven't even set myself with a dewy finishing mist, which I'm about to. This one's from Cover FX, but I, I like how even my skin looks. It feels very lightweight. I cannot get over the price. I thought that this was a little bit of an extreme exaggeration, which to be honest, I think it kind of is, but I have to say this product does deliver a beautiful canvas for you to work with. And I forgot how much I love layering other powder products on top of just powder. So it was really nice to do my makeup using no liquids, no creams, and have it still turn out looking this dewy and I like it. So we're gonna set the face and then I will take you with me throughout the rest of my day, do a few check-ins and just see how long it stays looking great. I will see you guys in a little bit. Wow, I feel like Beyonce right now. Okay, you guys, it is super, super hot here in LA. So I think that is like the first test. If your foundation can stay looking cute in a heat wave, then it's a good foundation. So this has not gotten oily. I have stayed highlighted where I want to be. And the rest of it is just like holding together so nicely. And James loves it. I love it. <laughs> um, we're gonna try and beat the jet lag blues by going to Starbucks and that's the plan. So let's hit it and get some caffeination because I feel like I'm dying actually. Oh my God, my hero. Thank you. You're welcome. You are the best. How's my foundation? It's beautiful. I cannot shut up about your foundation today. Ooh, tell me more. It looks fantastic. Why does it look fantastic? It just looks great. Does it look like powder? No. No? No. It actually looks super like hydrated and even, you guys. Like I really- You're like summer glowy. Right? I can't believe this is powder and that it covered the way that it did. I am really into it. We're halfway through the day. It's hot out, we're jet lagged, we're tired. I'm gonna pray that the caffeine kicks in soon and I will do some more check-ins for you guys in a little bit. You guys, I'm like haunted by that egg in the back there. I don't really even know what I'm supposed to do with it. Like the giant beauty blender egg. Anyway, foundation is holding up beautifully. I am so shocked. It's been on all day and I still like it. I'm gonna go buy dinner and then I will do a final check-in. Do not bark. Now, see, this was mommy's choice to have you come with, just so you know. <laughs> so, oof. Luca, tell everyone how much fun you're having on your outing, right? He loves spending time with me whenever I sit in the car with him, so that's really cool. Um, do you like my foundation, Puka? It's powder, isn't that amazing? Okay. It is now the end of the day. I am winding down. I'm ready to go and devour an episode of Orange is the New Black. I am so into that again. And I thought I would just sit down right now before I peel off the makeup, peel off the makeup. Like I like take my whole face off and like set it aside for tomorrow. Before I wash my face, I thought I would sit down and give you guys my final thoughts on this $13.99 aqua infused powder foundation from JCAT. You guys, this is so awesome. Now, every powder foundation that I have recently tried, recently being like over the past year or so, I have not liked. Like I really have not liked and I've tried some experience 
expensive ones. Like I think I even tried from Serge Luton or something like that, like a $200 powder foundation and I put it on and I was like, ew. I did not like it because it was so powdery and I felt like it made all my hairs exaggerated and my pores exaggerated. And I don't know what they put in here. Again, I feel like every video I make where I'm talking positively about products, I have to say this is not sponsored. This was sent to me, but it is not sponsored. I really, really like this. I encourage you guys, if you are into the idea of a powder foundation, you like that, you like the convenience of it, you want the coverage of it, I think that you would be really into this. It did stay relatively matte, so it's not luminous. It's not super matte either. It just looks like your skin on its best day with like pumped up coverage. That's the best way I can explain it. It didn't itch, it didn't dry out my skin, it didn't cake. I mean, it's just, it's really nice. I like it. So hooray for discovering a new foundation that is a powder that is convenient, that is $13.99. I'm into it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is a great, great foundation alternative. If you don't want a liquid, you want a powder, this is definitely worth checking out and the price is pretty gosh darn good too. So yay for that. And if you like this video, then like it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you are here so that you don't miss my future videos. You are gonna have to turn on the notifications because that's just what you have to do these days on YouTube. So drop it down to all. Do that and uh, you'll see my videos. I'm here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. I hope you come back for more. I love you so much and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.